Namen. It's Easter. Loggy of the room oh, before it gets gross. Yes. It's not that messy. Oh, yeah, hold on. Oh, God. Just hit me with those brown eyes. Wanna take a ride, wanna roll the dice. I'm not just another one of the nice guys. Open up your clouds with blue skies. It feels right. Brown eyes. Something just tells me that it's my first impression of the century hard lemonade. Can change your mind. I feel some new kind of motion. Your call, where are we going? My heart's nuts and ties. Hope you can feel my big vibe. hello officially to the Adelaide vlog. I thought I'd vlog my time here. I'm here for three nights and I'm staying here with Brody. She surprised me with a staycation, so I just got picked up from the airport and came straight to Henley. So we are right on the beach. We're gonna wake up to the ocean. It's so pretty. And yeah, I'm so excited to be in Adelaide. I've never been here before. It is a one hour flight from Melbourne. Literally took like two seconds to fly here, but to get from my parents' house to the airport took like three hours. But anyway, so we just went for dinner at the pub downstairs. We did go to this other place, but they stopped serving dinner at 8.30, which is so weird, but it's a Wednesday night, but it was still a little bit odd, but it doesn't matter. We had yummy uh, arancini balls and we shared a beef burger, which was super good. So I'm so full. At the moment, Broads is fake tanning. I'm just chilling out. I'm going to read the book that I brought. So me and everyone in the world is reading Atomic Habits. I bought this when I arrived. You guys may have seen it in my Kmart haul. If not, I'll link it above. Um, I yeah bought it at Kmart because it was the cheapest place to buy it um so we are in here just for the night and then tomorrow Broads has i think just a lecture or something at uni it's just in the city which is not too far from here so i'm going to take you guys to adelaide city we're going to go to rundle mall um i actually need to go to the bank and deal with something which is annoying but there are branches all over australia for my bank so i have to do that but other than that i'm going to be a tourist tomorrow in adelaide and spend some time just looking about and then we're going to be staying at her house that she shares with her housemates for the next few nights i've got a little suitcase filled with some outfits for like a winery like chill days hiking whatever and i'm yeah really excited to explore adelaide i don't know what to expect. I'll take you guys out to the common area. It reminds me of like, Broads and I met traveling. I'm gonna fill up my drink bottle. The lights are all censored lights. I don't know what I walked in on, but I didn't like it. The people on the balcony literally does feel like being in Europe. But like, the weird thing is, they put us in room six. That's male toilets there. But I'm like, how busy is it that you can't put an all girls room next to the all girls bathroom? Like, so weird. And I wouldn't mind using the guy's bathroom, but it just smells really weird, so. Anyway, I'll give you guys a room tour. So that is the door. We have a nice little mirror there. We have some random bits of artwork, some hangers, TV. We got some uh, Aussie bird art over there. Aircon, which I'm loving. There's a window which has some blackout blinds. The queen bed. We've got two little bedside tables, which is cute with a nice little, I love having the power outage things there. The lamp. We have a bar fridge, a desk, a chair, a little bin, and then all our crap. And 
yeah i will be discovering adelaide just as much as you will be so let me know in the comments section down below if you guys have ever visited adelaide before and what i should have gone and seen next time i come to adelaide because it won't be the last time i come especially if Broads is going to be here because she is the best and i will be hanging out with her again um in the future so yeah i'm gonna get into bed and just wind down for the evening and read my book it's only 10 30 so for me it's like early but i know broads is like a 9 p.m kind of gal so yeah i'm gonna wind down before i have to help her with her tan i don't think i've ever helped anyone with a tan before so wow i'm just really <laughs> breaking down barriers today trying new things but i'll speak to you guys in the morning and i can't wait to see adelaide <laughs> what ocean is it? I don't even know. Um, this is Kenley Beach. Do you know the um, ocean? Oh, the ocean. The Great Bite. Australian Bite. What did we call the bite? <laughs> I'll, I'll insert what the ocean was. But anyway, that's the ocean. So this is the hotel's little balcony. We just had some brekkie and I'm going to go for a walk. Because we're fit girls. Fit girls walk. So the bro's in a little cute outfit. <laughs> Yeah, Brody is at uni. She has one lecture today, so we got the tram. I didn't even know there were trams in Adelaide, and they're also like Melbourne, like in the metro area, it's free. Got a free tram, and I hopped up at the art gallery, which was super beautiful, and then I needed to go to the bank, so I went to my bank. Um, there are a couple of branches in the city, so this is, I guess, the city of Adelaide. I'm listening to um, a podcast and just going in and out of shops. They still have uh, masks the mask mandate here for indoors whereas Melbourne doesn't and then later on we're gonna go to the beach if it's still nice swimming weather or if not we'll just have like dinner on the beach or something like that but yeah take you guys down ain't no time to play with you had your time to get with it now I'm in your face with it what you gonna do with it next up to the ceiling know that I'm a freak with it hit you when I need I don't understand what this place is <laughs> It's somewhat really scary. Comment down below, have you guys seen anything like this before? It's just an arcade of creepy games with toys. Look, I don't, I don't understand. Why is just a huge pepper in there? Huge pepper with the snapped legs. What is going on? I don't get this. But you know what it is. It's crazy, you're talking crazy when you get fed Foolish, I want you ruthless, don't keep me waiting On it, I want you on it, got you hooked off it But I don't need you for Look at your feelings, show me you want it You've been a fan, ain't no more talking Need you to back, 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 get up Back, 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 get up So I found the pigs. Brody was telling me about that there's like a pig. <laughs> and there's, I won't get the kid's face. There's one, two, three, and four of them. I don't hate it. <laughs> so this is the other thing that Brody was telling me about to go see the pigeon. I honestly thought it was gonna be bigger and better. 
she's got some ridges, she's got some edges. I don't really know if there's like a meaning behind it. 360 of the pigeon. Oh, here we go. She doesn't look, she doesn't look great, does she? So yeah, the pigs have been there since 99 and she's been there for two years, but she's okay. There's Pidgey. I mean, Adelaide, what hasn't it got? It's got pigeons, it's got pigs. I mean, I don't hate it, but if it costs like a lot of money, I mean, who can put a price on art? So yeah, I've been up and down Randall Mall. And now I'm probably just gonna go a little, I don't need anything. I'm not a huge shopper, but I guess I'm just gonna go have a look at H&M because I haven't been in there for ages. I still need to recover from another lover. Would you be here for me? Never met your parents, not even your mother. But let's see where this leads. What should we do ooh, 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 tonight? What if this breaks your little heart? seen anything uglier than this this is why is this a trend and why am I behind horrific expert on the pigeon here. Um, I haven't introduced you to the vlog. This is Brody, everyone. Hello, everyone. Um, welcome. So let me um, let me in on the secret about the pigeon. So the pigeon is one hundred and seventy-four thousand dollars, and it's what a joke. And uh, that money could have gone towards a lot of different things. Yeah, you can really put. You can. <laughs> well, I, just have pigeon. I know. I mean, there is a price on art, and that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> is it? I mean, she's cute. She wasn't as ugly as I thought. It's, you know, it's, it, it, I, I really wanted it to be in the middle of everything, but she's even tucked away to the side. The balls, balls. I don't even think I filmed the balls, but they're literally just like two silver balls. I'll insert a picture here of that. But what's your favorite out of the three? Look, you can't go past those pigs. <laughs> Honestly iconic. <laughs> and where are we off to now, Broads? Uh, we are going down to Chinatown. We're going to go to the Central Market. Woo! Weird. Like have some sushi or... Yes, little snackies. Have See how we go. And how was uni? Loved it? Okay. Awesome. Really exciting. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Brody. Back to the studio. <laughs> Summer rain on a window Watch the time float on Cool air blows a memento As I fall behind health queen things. We are at the house of health. You hear that broads? The house of health. No naughty treats here, only the best for broads. I mean I did get strawberries so I count as a health queen as well. So cool. Look 
Kisses. A little aggressive wheels yep. coming in. Oh. What's going on? Oh. Oh, oh controversial. So we are at Brody's house. We have a beautiful spread. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Got a bit of everything. Got some grapes, olives, nuts, some pate. Because mm. this girl's bougie. Some olives. Olives. We even have little uh, toothpickies. And classic Doritis. Got some avo dip, some sauce. Some red caps can. We got some brownies for later. We've got some crackers. We got the Doritis. And we've got the classic Aussie backyard, the setup, the table. Iconic. Just iconic scenes here. Yummy. Stripped away, what's there to do? Hello, good morning, happy Friday everyone. We are just grabbing some petrol before going down to some wineries for the day. South Australia is known for their wine region, so I'm super excited. We are visiting one that is owned by an influencer named Elise Cook, so it's called Down the Rabbit Hole. So it's about 45 minutes away from Adelaide, down south, and then we're gonna be heading to another one, which is Darrenburg, which I, yeah, will obviously vlog for you guys. I'm super excited, I haven't been to a winery in what feels like forever. That's okay, Brooks. <laughs> so yeah, last night we just had, um, after our platter, we were just chatting and then we made like a big chicken salad and we drove it over to one of Brody's friend's houses and yeah, we just sat and ate our dinner, caught up and then yeah, we were back at like 9.30, 10-ish and we just chatted to James and I met James and Alex. Brody's housemates and then we just chatted in bed and then went to bed at, at like midnight so yeah Brody's got up early and went to CrossFit at 6 30 in the morning and I did not um I slept in and yeah it's around 10 30 now so we'll be getting to the wineries as they open and we've packed ourselves a little picnic and yeah later on today we're gonna go to a few bars around the city so I'm super excited for that but so far I am loving Adelaide it's so quaint it reminds me of Canberra um, the capital of Australia mixed with like Victoria the capital of BC smushed together it's just very like a mini version of Melbourne I guess and a lot more like older buildings a lot more like British influence I think but um, I'm glad my skin is getting a break today from the sun because, again, I still got burnt and I reapplied like 50 plus for five times. Hello. Broads is back in the vlog. Back, back. <laughs> Give a little, I don't know, um, have you been to these wineries before? I have not been to these wineries okay. before. Okay, yeah, that's so exciting. I thought, you know what? So Let's she's experience in town. together. Um, she has to go where I take her, so. Yeah. <laughs> Let's It'll see. be fun, a little journey for us all. But you're not, are you a big wine? No, not really. I love wine. Love wine? Yeah, Great, love wine. me too. I'm driving today though. Yeah, well, maybe I could take over if you need. Oh no, you can just sample all the wines. Okay. Oh, coming up. I was like, is it going to wash the windows for you? Or a little blow I don't know what I quite like it. <laughs> Sunday, thinking maybe, don't you want to spend some time? Been so patient, like I've been waiting, 40 days and five. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Smooth. Hit the spot. <laughs> Love. Just right. <laughs> We're happy while well, I'm drunk, she's driving. So. It doesn't take much. But I'll have some snackies on the bus, but I'm on the, wow. I'll have bus. some snackies wow. in the car, yeah. She's had two bus. ones. <laughs> you better get on that bus. <laughs> so it's like 1.30 and we are probably gonna head off soon. It's definitely picked up in the past hour at Down the Rabbit Hole, but we think that there are 
tours, like wine tasting tours. We think that they're upstairs being hosted by someone, but you can get food here. It's very kid friendly. It's great for people who are um, who have any sort of disabilities. It's very accessible. Bathrooms, like they have pathways. Nothing's like there are no steps or anything. You can drive right up uh, to the entrance. So. Yeah, super impressed and the wine was really good as well. So ticking all the boxes. I'm loving it. That's what are we doing right now? We are at Chalk Hill in McLaren Vale. And we're on top of a hill in Chalk Hill. Got some little snacks, some little treats. I actually don't know what this is. So it's like a chip, but it's like not a chip. It's probably like a healthy chip. Mm, got a bit of hat hair, but it's fine. I am doing a test. You are not. <laughs> I'm driving. <laughs> yeah. But I'm on holiday. She's crazy. She's wild. We're going to welcome wine though. So yes. They accommodate here at Chalk Hill. And there's also a distillery here. And there's also a restaurant. So Beautiful. Like gym, go for it. Stay like wine. You got both. You know? yeah. Stay tuned for a sick view. It's in the same bowl as the other snacks, so I think it is a snack. Okay. It's Easter. It's a little Easter egg. It's a little surprise. <laughs> I dare you. No. Want the verdict? I reckon it's a chocolate almond. Oh. Chocolate almond? Chocolate almond. Okay, you glad you ate it? Mm, it's fine. <laughs> like Brody approved. <laughs> like, oh, maybe it's just a palate cleanser. You just have to sniff it or just touch it and you're like. What is it? Mm. No, it's very sophisticated. Yeah, we're very fancy ladies here. So, swish, swish. Woo! Finish the spread. Finish the, the chuckies. They were really good. Mm -hmm. How good. And um, my teeth are black. So we love that. So here we have the distillery just over there on the right. And then Chalk Hill is here on the left. And then straight ahead is where you can get some food. And you can sort of go between the three locations, eat outside. And it's so, so beautiful. Is it a bad, 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 get up? Salvador Dali art sculptures, which I'm not sure has like anything to do with anything, but it's a $15 entry to go into the cube and the cube is closed anyway. So we're just going to take photos of it like a little cheapskate, a little freebie. That's how we do it on a budget. It's the end of the day. It's 4.30. Chill is wrapping up. Yeah. What can you do? Just have a photo shoot and leave on the, on the, <laughs> on the cheap skis, on the DL. <laughs> Are you impressed by the cube birds? different to what I thought it would be but it's quite sizey it's very yeah. 3d clearly yeah. because it's a cube not a square <laughs> great joke you know what it's 3d if you guys didn't know uh cube is 3d um yeah jagged cube vibes yeah it's rubik's cube vibes it's given me yes yes uh-huh but you know what you can drive in here it's five minutes away from the other winery and 
drive in for free, take a photo, then peace out. I'm just putting it out there, guys. You don't have to pay for it. The so. artwork is very creepy. It's everywhere. Yeah, it is. Like the hand coming in, that was kind of creepy. But I do appreciate the melting clock. Hey, your time. So I'm going to finish it off now. I am at my parents' house, safe and well. But thank you so much for watching my travel with me to Adelaide. I really hope you enjoyed. I had such a good time with Brody, and I loved Adelaide. It was so beautiful, and I definitely want to head back there and check out some more of the wineries and actually go swimming in the beach. I just went swimming at my local beach here, and it was beautiful. But you know next time i'm in adelaide but if you guys have not already subscribed please hit the subscribe button down below and turn on post notifications and give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy the travel with me style so i really hope you did enjoy again and i hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and i will see you in my next video bye